second grade mathematicians. Today it's time to get out those rulers because we're gonna be measuring in inches and feet. Yep, you heard that right. We're gonna be measuring in feet, spelled exactly the same as the feet that are a part of your body. But we're really not measuring with our feet, we're gonna be measuring with a ruler. One ruler is 12 inches long. That is exactly the same length as one foot. If we have something that is measured in feet, that means we have something that is more than one ruler or 12 inches long. So by the end of today, you're gonna to be able to confidently say, I can measure something in inches and feet. All right, second grade mathematicians, let's give this type of thinking a try. We're going to use this mini sized chair to measure in inches and feet. When measuring any item, it's very important to specify what part you're measuring. Are you measuring the height? How tall something is? Are you measuring the length? How long an item is? Or are you measuring the depth? How deep it is? So for our sake, we're going to measure this in length. How long the chair is. So I wanna figure out how much space it'll take up if I push it up against the wall. I'm going to use my ruler here and I'm gonna start by placing my ruler at the far corner and it's lined up along the edge. Now, unfortunately, I only have one, so I'm gonna have to use my finger to mark where I left off. So I know that right now I have one foot measured, or 12 inches. I'm gonna take my ruler and place it right there. So now I have another 12 inches. Two 12s equals 24 inches, about 24 inches. I'm not quite to the end, I have a little bit left, and one more inch. So I have 12, plus 12 plus one, which gives me a total of 25 inches. Well, when I was measuring, I had one 12, which was one foot. I had a, another 12, which was two feet, and a little teeny bit more. So I'm not at three feet, because three feet would hang far over this way. So I know I am closest to two feet. So the length of this chair is 25 inches, or, two feet long. Notice that it took far more many inches to measure the length of this chair because inches are smaller than feet. This time, mathematicians, we're going to measure the height, how tall something is, rather than the length. We're gonna measure the height of this door to Evie's Playhouse. We're gonna start at the very bottom of our ruler. And like we did before, I'm going to mark with my finger. So I'm at one set of 12. I'm at 12 inches. Now this door is definitely bigger than 12 inches. 12 inches would be for like the size of a dwarf. I'm measuring another set of 12. Two 12s, I'm now at 24 inches. I'm going to choose one more time. And it looks like I'm at another 12. I have three 12s. Three 12s. 12 plus 12 plus 12, or three times 12 would be 36 inches tall. 36 inches tall, that's three groups of 12, which means I have three feet tall. So I had three rulers for three feet tall for a total of 36 inches. So there you have it, second grade mathematician. That's how you measure in inches and feet. Remember, when you're measuring, it's gonna take far more many inches than feet to measure the same item. And that's because inches are a lot smaller than feet. So if you're measuring a bookcase or a shelf, it's gonna take a lot more inches than feet to measure the same exact item. A fun fact before you go, a long time ago, they didn't have tools like rulers to measure length. They actually measured in feet. You guessed it. They actually used a male's foot in a boot. So our standard inch ruler, 12 inches long, is about the same size as a standard foot. Hmm, who knew math could be so interesting? So today as you're measuring, have a lot of fun measuring in inches and feet.